tips and tricks on how to fix the touch screen issues on the Poco X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks which you can use to fix the touch screen issues on the Poco X3 Pro without having to Wrote it now. Do note I have the international variant of the Poco X3 Pro, which is right now running MIUI 12.5.1 global stable based on Android 11. However, the tips and tricks which I'm going to tell you will work on the Indian variant as well, irrespective of your MIUI version. And before you ask me when will this version roll out to India, I have no idea about that. However, in case you want to have a look at the features of this build we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video so without any further delay let us get down to business for starters open your application drawer and you can look for the security application here it is security app in the building you might have to give it some permissions herein you need to look for game turbo for me it is showing as a banner over here for you it might not show over here you should have it in your tools section as well if it is not showing over here here. so open the game turbo application now I do not have any game installed like PUBG or your Call of Duty because the tips and tricks are independent of the game anyways so here it is I did add magisk to the game section and once the game is selected then you tap on this gear icon this is the settings icon so tap on it and as you can see we are already having touch screen issues it took three taps to get into there anyways another pro tip if you have any screen protector installed make sure you have removed that next up make sure that the game turbo master toggle is enabled then we can go into the performance mode herein you can of course optimize your wi-fi it has nothing to do with the touch but this thing this toggle needs to be enabled so optimizing your touch controls needs to be enabled then we can go back and herein we will go into enhanced experience herein make sure that the screenshot gesture toggle is enabled and don't open notification shade this is going to fix two very irritating issues when you're playing say pubg or call of duty with the claw setup sometimes you open the notification shade while you are in the game or say you take a screenshot so make sure that these two toggles are also enabled then we can go back you can also restrict the buttons and gestures and go into additional settings as well here and you will see all the games which you have installed or you have added manually to game turbo and then tap on that game let me tap on magisk you see for starters you can configure your touch response using the slider so experiment with this touch slider to see which is the best touch response for your device and then you can also configure the sensitivity to continuous taps so if you like continuously tapping on the screen that is something which can also be configured using this slider so again play around with it and then see what is the best one for your specific need and then last but not the least you can also configure the touch resistant area right now it is set as small so if you're holding your phone in the claw setup like this then this small area here on either side would be touch resistant now some of us we do like use that area for say our reload or say the fire button and in those cases my advice to you would be to turn this to none so now nothing on the screen is touch resistant area and once that is done you know you just have to experiment and see what are the best touch response sensitivity and touch resistant area settings for you for your specific game based on your on-screen controls because not everybody has the same on-screen controls and that's about it there it is peeps those are all the tips and tricks which might help you fix the touch screen issues on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you